So I'm about to get ready and I just wanted to do a quick little tutorial to show you what I'm wearing today. So hopefully I can do this kind of fast. Um, it's kind of hard for me to do two things at once. So if I go a little bit slow, that's why. So I'm gonna start with my highlight color in my compact here. This is Mascara Beauty Makeup. These are all cream foundations. So I'm gonna start with my color amber with my B squared brush. I'm gonna go in with a smaller end and I'm gonna start tapping it in a very light layer. I have a little bit of uh, self tanner on my body, but I don't have any on my face. So this color is a little bit darker than what I have been using during the winter time. So I keep a couple of colors in my palette that I can go between for cases just like this. And season changes, um, any other time during the season or week or day or month that my skin changes a little bit of tone and color, I have a couple of options in my palette that I can work between. Okay. This is just a very light layer and I'm just gonna kind of blend it all in. I don't really take it all the way up on my forehead. I just don't need, you know, much coverage right there and my contour color will, will be enough color and coverage. You don't have to go over your entire face with your foundation. That's completely optional. You can just put it where you need it and use your contour where it goes and then blend it all together. I just get a lot of redness right through here and in my cheeks. And so I like to have a little bit of a base coverage right there, but it's very light. It's lightweight. It's not heavy. This is my uh, detail hot brush. I'm gonna go in and pick up my contour color. This color is indigo that I'm using. And I'm just gonna put it right here under my cheekbone and kind of drag it down. See right there? And then we're gonna blend it up. You wanna blend it upward instead of down. Don't drag it down. It's better to put it a little bit higher than you think too. This color is more of a ashy brown. Bronzer is a little bit warmer because this is meant to create and enhance sort of the shadows that you already get on your face. You're just kind of sculpting them out a little bit more. Okay. And you can already see where it's coming down right here. And right here, you're gonna take it down to about the outer corner of your eye. You can drag it down just a little bit more, but you don't wanna drag it way, way down in this area. Okay, now I'm gonna take it on my forehead and kind of get it in that hairline and blend it out. If you have a smaller forehead, you can just do it right across the top. If you have a larger forehead and you want to diminish some of that a little bit, you can drag it down a little bit farther. Just however you prefer. Okay, I'm gonna take it under my jaw, just a little bit. And then blend it down a little bit. <laughs> my cuckoo clock. My parents got a cuckoo clock when they got married. So when we got married, my mom got us one. It's been knocked off the wall a few times. The cat went after it, or the kitten went after it when he first spotted the little birdie coming out. But he still comes out to chirp, not at the right time, <laughs> but Oh well, it's, it's nice to have him in here. Broken and all. Okay, so I just did a little bit of contour on my nose. Okay, let's go in with some 
blush. I'm gonna use the color Cindy. It's just kind of a bright pink. It looks very pigmented in the uh, tin, but it's not as bright once you put it on a little bit at a time. These are very pigmented, so you only need a little bit of product. So I'm gonna dab it. Actually, instead of dabbing it in there, I'm just gonna use my finger. And I'm gonna put a little bit right here. I'm gonna kind of blend that contour with it too. Okay, now let's go in with some bronzer and then we'll add a little bit of a brightening highlight. Just gonna barely try to tap it in there. And like make sort of a, a C shape right here. And then kind of you can kind of blend it into that contour up there. Everything just kind of goes together. Now let's go in with our brightening shade. I'm gonna use white peach, should I be? Now I'm just gonna take the small end of my detail hack brush and just pick up a tiny bit and go in right here and then work my way up. I don't want a ton un directly under my eye. And you can still get that light, bright effect without having to just rake it right under your eye. You'll do much better doing it that way because of the, the delicate skin right here. You don't want a ton of product. And I know that we have dark circles and redness and things that we wanna cover, but try going, going blah, blah, blah. Go along with it with a very light hand first, and then you can kind of build up on it. But you can also take a darker shade before the lighter shade to conceal and correct. So, okay, and then I'm just going to take it down the center of my nose. You can kind of drag it up here a little bit if you want. Touch down here on the chin, right here on Cupid's bow wherever you want some brightening. Okay, and I'm gonna blend it out. And I'm just kind of pressing, not doing a lot of swiping. Now I'm gonna go in with my perfector sponge. Now this little thing is your best friend because you're gonna get it wet, you're gonna wring out the water, squeeze it all out, and then get like a damp, uh, I mean a dry paper towel or a, a rag, and then you're gonna squeeze it out till you can't get anything else out of it, and it feels kind of cold and just a little bit damp. So it will expand twice its size once you do that. And so it makes it super soft. You're gonna go in and just press in here, and you're just pressing the makeup into your skin. So that gives you just a nice, smooth finish. And it's also picking up any extra product that you don't need, okay? Now I'm gonna go in with my Stay Spray. So we don't have ours right now. You can use any setting spray that you like. I have a few I could recommend. but this will help to set your makeup all day. Okay, face is done. Let's go ahead and do some eyes. I'm gonna take my main foundation color and I'm gonna use it kind of like a primer. Just gives a nice clean canvas to apply the eyeshadow. You know, we've got 
veins and it's very thin skin right here. So this just kind of cleans it all up and gets it all a unified color. So then your eyeshadows are gonna go on easier. They're gonna be more of the true color that you see in the, in the tin and give you that color that you're looking for. All right, that's done. And today I'm gonna use a couple of shades. My eyeshadow everything brush, I'm gonna go in with a fluffy end and I'm gonna take pup, because I use pup with everything, and just wash it over the lid. Sort of a taupey, purpley-ish kind of color. It's very pretty and soft and neutral. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna go in with Bright Eyes. It's sort of this coppery color right there, if you can see, it's a shimmer. So I'm gonna go in just mainly over the whole lid. I'm gonna use my mirror so I can see better. And sort of just wash this right here on the main part of my lid. And then blend it upward I take my eyeshadows up a little bit higher just because I have all this space right here. So I might as well use it. Okay. I take it and run it right under my eye. It's a little bit of liner. Now I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna take my multitasker brush and I'm gonna take this flat end and I'm gonna pick up this lighter shimmer, this yellowy one, it's called Blondie. And I'm gonna put it kinda right here on the inner corner a little bit. And then I'm gonna take my same eyeshadow everything brush and I'm just gonna fluff it a little bit and blend those together. And that's it. So now I'm gonna do my other eye. Eyes are done. Well, I need mascara. So I'm gonna go and do my eyebrows real quick. I'm gonna use this eyeshadow color Oak. It's this light brown color. It's perfect for lighter brows, for blondes. And then we have another color, or brunettes too, but, and then we have a lighter color, darker color, for um, brunettes that's really pretty. And I'm just going in and just kind of Flicking a little bit of the color throughout my eyebrows, nothing major. And then I'll go back in with a spoolie and just kind of brush everything back out. I'm going to put my mascara on because that takes me a minute and then I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my mascara on and the last things I'm going to do is line my lips, do some lip color and add some illuminator and that's it. So I'm gonna go in with the multitasker and I'm going in with my same contour color, indigo. Taking the small end and I'm just gonna line my lips. Yes, it is brown. But trust the process.
Alrighty. Now I'm going to go back in with Cindy, the same color that I used on my cheeks. Do the eliminator. I'm gonna use, let's see, let's go with, let's do a powder eliminator today. This is Photoshop, I believe. I'm just gonna tap it right on the cheeks and see that little bit of shimmer that it gives. Kind of blend it in and up top of the cheekbones. Same thing there. And it's just a little tiny bit. Right here. Okay. And that's it. So literally, I think I had eight colors, including eyeshadow. So eight colors would fit in this compact. It would actually fit in the size smaller that we have. So you would have your, that was a main foundation color, a brightening foundation color. We had contour, we had bronzer, we had a lip and cheek color, we had illuminator, and I used two eyeshadows on my eyes, and then I used a third eyeshadow for my brows. So, if you take this, I used two brushes, and a sponge, <laughs> and my mascara. That's it. So this is my whole this is my whole face right here. So it's it's hardly anything. So that's it. If you guys have any specific questions on any of the colors I used, uh, just let me know and I can always help you out to color match you. I have a form you can fill out and we can also do one in person if you are local. So I guess that's it. I'll show you all the finished look again, but super simple. It feels amazing. It's lightweight, breathable. I don't feel like I have a ton of product sitting on my face and I have a a glow that I definitely didn't have before. <laughs> so anyway, but that's it. All right, guys. I'll see you later.